Hi everyone, I'm gonna give a review on um, the new Beyond Burger, the the, uh, the media one. I never had it before in my life. I've been having the other one, the regular Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger for like over a year and a half now. And I gave a review on another vlog about it, saying how good it was. I said it was an excellent four out of five stars. And this is the one I got yesterday at the um, in a, a mini market. And it's the first time I, I'm gonna eat this now, give it a try. I never even tasted it before. And I'm gonna give you a review to see how uh, to t tell you how it tastes. So um, this is one, this this one, if you see it clearly, um, this is the Beyond Burger, the most medium one with ketchup on it, and uh, this, it has a pretzel roll, which is vegan too itself. So I'm gonna take a bite of it and to ask, tell you how it's going. Okay, here we go. It's, just, it's good. It's just as good as the other one. And not bad. It may even taste um, more like meat than the other one for some reason. But whatever. I don't. It's not a bad tasting meat. I hear on people on Instagram saying, oh, they like one, this one better. Or people say they like that one better. It's like the same one. The only thing, difference is, I know for sure, when you make the other one, it has a smell on it. People don't like when you're cooking it at first and it goes away. This one did not have a smell on it when I was cooking it all this time. It took me about a half hour to cook it. I had it on low gas because I was doing other things, so I cooked it on low gas. But usually it probably take, you know, about 20 minutes to make it on medium gas, low or medium. And it's pretty good. See, if you can see the inside of it, it's not bad. It's, it's, it's a real good burger so far. So, um, if you ever want to give it a try, that's, this is the thing to try. Uh, I mean, I went to the store, went to get dollar burgers. The, now the regular uh, Beyond Meat Beyond Burgers, and I didn't see them there. I just had these. They, they had these. I'll show you the cover. As it says it right here. And not even media, if you could see there. And um, you know, uh, marble, marble juiciness, complete protein, twenty percent, twenty percent protein. The same amount. Everything seems like to be the same amount of stuff. I don't know about the ingredients. I don't read the ingredients. But it says um, no gluten and no soy in it, and the other one says the same thing except it says um, um, like you know free soy free and gluten free. But this one says no soy and no gluten. Like I, you know they use another, another word to describe. There's nothing in there, but it's the same thing. And um, they just say it's media, so uh, I guess it is. I mean I don't know. It looks the same to me, <laughs> but uh, it tastes basically the same to me. So if you want, this is the one. If you want to get something like this, you know, and give a meat up, or just to say it's to get off of meat because um, it's not as healthy. This is the thing to try. No one's gonna say it's not good. Uh, to me, it's good. It does taste meaty though. Like it tastes more like, you know, an animal, you know, the beef itself. But, you know, some people might be deter themselves from it. They are vegan because they don't want nothing to do with meat. But that doesn't really bother me as long as it's not me and I'm happy. You know, I, you know, the, I think I sit down in my old vlog about the Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger. Like, you know, don't you shouldn't deter yourself from just because it tastes like meat because it's, you know, from an animal. It's it, it's not uh, from an animal, and just because the flavor isn't in it doesn't mean, you know, that you should you know deny yourself something. You know, it just means just making it hard on yourself if that's what, you know if that's the reason you're not being vegan or even if you're vegan, it's just you know something else you're not g giving yourself that. That's, you know, I would say basically healthy. I'm not saying 100% healthy because they think, you know, they say it's processed or whatever else. But if it's something you eat once a week or whenever, it's, I would say it's, you know, it's all right. I mean, if you're really going on a health diet, this is not the thing to eat anything. You know, you're supposed to do fruits or vegetables, or even I would say mostly fruits with the proper herbs and you'll, you'll be, you know, that's how you get healthy. But um, with that, I said, this is more healthy. I would say it's more healthy than meat.
you, you ask me. But I mean, so, you know, it depends how you want to, who's, you know, how you feel about it. And, um, so, so, so far, this is real good. Yeah, take, take one more bite. I got another one right here without the ketchup. I only eat without the ketchup. And I, I like the I like it where sometimes it's with ketchup and sometimes without ketchup. There's times I even eat without the bread. That's how good it is. Though. That's the other one. The regular Beyond I Meat Beyond Burger. Um, but I mean, I haven't eaten tomatoes with it for a while. But I was thinking if I get a good tomato with it and some salad, whatever else. I'll put that on it for a change. You know, I just like I like, I like to you know do a variety of things to make the burger taste different to me. But no matter how you eat it, it's it's really good. You know what I'm saying? It's really good. And the Godzilla bread is pretty good. So some people don't like it, and some people do like it. So you, if you don't like this bread, you could get another bread that's vegan. Whatever you know, bread you could find in the supermarket that. That they'll say is vegan. Yeah, when I, um, you know, in a Whole Foods store that has seeds on it, it looks like a regular um, bun, and it, it'll say vegan on it from Whole Foods. I think called 360 or something like that. That's the company, you know, that makes it. It's pretty good. There's, there's no thing I would say. I would still give it a four stars. Yeah, I would just say, like I said, it tastes more like beef. And that one just tastes like more of a... Um, not as beefy, but, you know, like an animal. From an animal, it's just, but it just tastes like, um, you know, a burger itself, too. It don't taste exactly plant, plant place. I would Plant-based, but I would say... That take you know you might say if you ate the regular Beyond Burger, I would say it's it's ninety eight percent beef like and you would t could tell it's like um two percent plant based if if you could really taste it, and I would say this is like ninety nine percent um beefier taste that and then you would tell if it's plant based. That's the difference. I, I maybe I'm a little bit off I don't know, but I mean this tastes tastes more 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 like um bur regular burger itself than the other one. I would say, but if it, is it more beefy? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I guess it is. I was just talking to someone the other day. Like two days ago, that, that they tried the Impossible um, Whopper at Burger King, and the uh, guy said he didn't really like it because it tasted too salt, to, you know, too salty. I mean, I, I don't know if they put salt on it. Comes with the salt. I told the guy maybe they, you can tell him keep the salt off, and he said maybe he may say it might come with the salt when the uh, Burger King gets it. But I guess along, I mean, I, I can't tell him how some people are so sensitive to salt. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can eat potatoes with salt, and I don't. It don't really bother me. But I guess it bothers some people. So I don't know what to say. If you get the Impossible Burger at Burger King or wherever you may get the burger, I I, I get the Beyond Burger or Impossible Burger, at Bear Burger, and that, maybe there's salt on it. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's not. But I don't taste no salt. I gave a review on that too. Like um, last week. Um, uh, and that's the good. It's, it was pretty good burger. It's not as good as these. The ones you make at home, but I always say it's like um, three out of five stars, which is good. That's a considered, you know, good. And I give this four out of five stars, which is excellent. I gotta try with, you know, potatoes and and um, put a piece of salad on it. 
it gives a whole new flavor but I mean like I said if 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 you know you if you like it that much you know you need bread on it and then my tomatoes and stuff like that so this is my review on it it's pretty good I would say it's, you know give it a try if you don't like it you don't have to get it again but I think you're gonna like it. if you like regular beef you could like this I can't see the difference at least the animals are being left alone. You know, some people say, well, plants are being bothered too. But we all got to start somewhere. And at least we could all start with the animals where they could be left alone. And build from there. Take it from there. Um, so, um, two more bites. I think I'll be done. With the, um, a few more bites. Bread comes to falling off, I don't know why. I put it in the microwave, I didn't do it. I defrost it. Like I told you, it took like a half hour to make this. I had no gas on most hot, because I was doing other things. And I didn't want it to burn, but I think on, on average, it could be done in 20 minutes. But around the rims of it, I'll show you on this burger around the rims on it if you see dark, like brownish or you know dark brown whatever else or whatever have, you see it's done you know the middle is pretty much done you just can't put it on high heat because it, it'll burn and the side won't get done like some people like their meat raw this you know this ain't meat you may not like it like, like it i don't know but i would say when it's done perfectly you'll like it And I didn't think I was gonna get this at the store so fast. I decided at the store and, and I decided to take a chance to get it. And all the burgers I've been eating for like a year and a half, whatever I want. I finally did a view on it. A review on it like um a week and a half ago, whenever it was. And um this is a, like I said, this is the first burger I ever had with the that's the, the media one, and I'm doing a review on it. It's a good burger. You should give it a try if you haven't yet. So, that, so I'm done with that first burger, and I'm gonna eat my second one without, you know, talking about it because I, you know, I third, I might have like over 13 minutes. I think that's enough for one burger. And let me know if you ever tried it. Write it. Give me um, comment your opinion on. It. I don't mind what you think of this burger if you had it or if you plan on having it. Or, uh, you know, if, if you're not following me, please hit the follow button and uh, the bell to get the constant reminders whenever I do make a video. And um, if you went this far, thank you for, for listening. And like I always say, think positive. It helps a lot. Okay, bye for now.